Yeah, I think Kelsey... Ooh, I think Kelsey's just taking a break from Twitch. She was here the other day. But, you know, she's just doing doing her own thing. She'll, uh, she'll pop up when she pops up. Okay, storming today. Maybe we go to the island today. A mix of all of the above. The thing is, I don't want any challenge that limits me in what I can do. I want to be able to do whatever I want to do. I just want a way to maybe force myself to slow down and chill out a bit more rather than trying to min-max the thing. But I think that's just going to be a me thing, isn't it? It's just going to be something that I just have to try and do myself. Wandering Goose, have a good luck. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Doing well, how are you? I'm doing great now that I've found that I've got some uh, some more wine to harvest. Dazzer, I'm really glad you've become part of our community. I we'll even closed a 500 gold check from the Stardew Valley Agricultural Fund to help you continue your wor uh, good work. Maybe you can buy some more seeds with it. Sincerely, Mr. Lewis. Oh, my nose. They only have Instagram? Yeah. Social media sucks. I, I count Twitch as part of a social media as well. Smaller farm or lower profit margins would be slow, but free to play how you want. Maybe. I know how to slow you down. Sounds like a you problem. Yeah, maybe they make pills for that or something. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, let's get some star fruit going. I think just 500 will be enough. I didn't parachute drop between days. That just extends the stream time. Oh, it's wine day. We've now got two batches of wine that we need to sell. Uh, we need to sell it quite promptly as well. When will we be able to switch back to Artisan? How do you have so much wood? I bought it all on year one. So in year one, wood is only 10 gold per from Robin. So you can buy a full stack of 1,000 wood for 10,000 gold, which 10,000 gold sounds like a lot, but as long as you've got the money to spend, 10,000 isn't that much. Hey, Mogonus! Happy wine day! Thank you very much. Given to PC gaming, you could probably find a mod that physically forced the player to move slow. I don't want to do that. Again, I don't want to, like, limit the game. I, I just want to be able to do... You know, play the game, but play it in a more relaxed manner, you know? But that... The, the, I, I, th I guess asking for suggestions of challenges that would force me to play slower just isn't going to work. Because... Everything that's been suggested is pretty much a limitation, you know? Don't do this, don't do that. Do this but slower. Only do this a day, only do that a day. And that's not... Yeah, I don't think that's what I was looking for, but that's okay. Like I said, I think it's just going to be a me thing. It's just going to be a case of me just trying to play slower. And just not worrying about the farm. I've tried the beach farm, and I stopped playing that playthrough, I think because I was de dealing with some Stardew burnout at the time. Got them all? Challenges are just limitation runs, though. I guess, but I, I guess the ch challenge run that I'm doing now is... You know, or the limitation that I'm doing now is a time limitation. Play one file for a hundred years. No, you. A mod's an option, you could just try the extended mod or something. Maybe, like, I could play modded on PC. Perhaps. I've never delved into the mods really before. Maybe. I'll think about that one. Dazza just wants to chill. Just chill out, Dazza. Bake you some special brownies that slow you down. Uh, that would be illegal here. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right, that's a lot of wine. Oh, I missed one. 411. That doesn't seem right. Yes, it is right. 137 times 3. Yeah. Ba -ba -da -bum, bum -bum. Possibility with all the additional content. Yeah, I mean, that would... I guess that would give me more to do. And I guess it would be like almost like a new playthrough as well, like Ramen was saying. You're getting feeling and you could explore. Maybe. Again, I think that's another case of I'll think about it. Yeah, I've heard of Ridgeside as well. I think the thing that kind of puts me off from doing it is um is, is that, like, Hylian has just started doing his, uh, ex expanded playthrough again. I'm just like, eh. Don't want to be a copycat. But I also can't let someone else's content decide my own. That makes any sense? Oh, I don't know, chat. My brain hurts. Can we talk about head empty things instead? <laughs> Can we stop thinking for a moment? What's for dinner? Uh, I got the last of my leftover chicken for dinner. I'll just have a sandwich. Yeah, Neo, uh, I've seen that Bad ba uh, Binge with Babish video before. I love Babish. Well, I loved his old stuff. Newer stuff, not so much. Kind of bored by his stuff at the moment, but the old stuff where he used to like copy TV recipes and stuff, that was cool. Thinking hard. Yeah, thinking sucks. Again, I'm also running off like an hour and a half, maybe two and a half hours of sleep. I'm going to say what my obvious suggestion would be. Playing Genshin Impact is not helping me play Stardew Valley, Tish. <laughs> Coral Island? Maybe. I think I'm waiting for Coral Island to get a bit more content, though. I don't know how much is in it, but obviously because it's early access, I don't want to jump into it and then have nothing to do after ten hours. I'm waiting for that game to be a bit beefier. Jody, Gus, Vincent. Oh, yeah, let's... All right, let's go make a chocolate cake for Jody. Then I'll go catch a largemouth bass and some carp for her as well. Well, I know what I mean. Did come in mid-combo. <laughs> See, I know where your brain was going. Gus Vincent Jazz. Okay. Don't have anything for Jazz. Don't have anything for Vincent either. I have to go look for some more grapes. Dwarf. Let's actually go visit Sandy today. Dwarf, Sandy, Marnie, Evelyn. Uh, dwarf. Sandy. Money. Uh, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna take like two rabbits' feet with me. I, sh I think I'm actually gonna give them to, to Jazz. One to Jazz, maybe. Doesn't Jazz like chocolate cake? Or is it pink cake again? It's pink cake, isn't it? Because a lot of stuff isn't done yet. Yeah, that's why I want to wait. Because that's kind of like um, it's kind of like what happened with Slime Rancher Two. We played it for like three streams, and then we ran out of things to do in it. Great Lexington Linus is 10. Ooh, okay, we'll go there. Thank you. Remember Sam's birthday today? I don't need to. Uh, we're maxed out with Sam, so we can ignore him forever. Let's fantasize about food. I could go for some pasta right now. Linguini and a meaty marinara sauce. Ooh, pasta. Oh, <laughs> food. Uh, do I have another... I don't have another complete... Yes, I do. Got a complete breakfast for Alex. They keep selling your plums. I know! <laughs> Let's go to the island and see Leo. Uh, Maru's nearly done. We'll go see Demetrius and Maru. And get something for Kent. Demetrius, Maru. And I guess Kent can have the, the gold rabbit's... No, we'll give Kent the um, the silver rabbit's foot. We'll take a silver duck feather for, for Leo. Uh, so we've got something for... The majority of people, I suppose. 
What have you been eating? Are you eating well? No. I am not. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite way to cook a roast? Um, at the moment, the only roast that I'm really doing is chicken. But I haven't had roast beef for a long time. I really chicken and beef are the only two roasts that I, ever, I, I usually have. Do you mind if I ask why? Um, brain stuff, mostly. Um, the cost of things. The limitation of my cooking apparatus. Multitudes of things, but mostly the mental side of things, honestly. Four lives mastered, four life expert, and four life adept. Oh my goodness. Tiz, do you have the, um, the DLC? Boom. 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 Hugs. That's okay. I'm not looking for any hugs or anything like that. You know, we all go through blue days. It's fine. And I've just not been doing too well since um, since I got that call from the doctor like the other week. I've just been feeling a bit in my own head. All right, thank you for the tip off for the grape. You need one. Oh. Oh well. Okay then. <laughs> Blue months. However long it takes. Yeah. Oh no. Demetrius, I didn't tell you to get tomatoes. I said get fruits. First playthrough, I got it when I was already burned out. Ah, so I did the creator god status in all lives. I don't understand. Tomatoes are fruits. Ah, run away. When a normal person says they want fruit, they never mean tomatoes. It doesn't matter if uh, what the scientific classification is. Ease of the grinding. Yeah, hopefully. And it means that you can get, like, good tools, for example, to help with the gathering lives. Dazza, I'm glad you're here. You'll be able to put this argument to rest. If you need it for a fruit salad, say so. Would you classify a tomato? I'm gonna say fruit, just because I need more friendship points with Demetrius than Robin. I agree, Larian. But I don't think it comes from a, a, a place of being snarky and sarcastic. I feel like it just comes from a a side of Robin just doesn't understand how literal Demetrius is. I don't know if it does, Julie, but in the case in, in, in the just under the case that it does, I'm gonna go for fruit here. See? Daz agrees with me. Plus I've honestly never seen this side of the cutscene. Just want you to understand my point of view. It's hard for me to know exactly what assumptions I should make when you tell me something. It does? Oh, that's good. I'll try to get better at it. Yeah, because Demetrius is quite lacking, I think. Thanks for your help, Dazza. Yeah, you're welcome. Happy marriage. Tomatoes are both fruit and vegetable. Fruit is botanical classification, and vegetable is a cooking kitchen classification. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like how everyone says, you know, knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. No? Yes. Knowledge is knowing that tomato is a fruit, but common sense is knowing that you don't put it in a fruit salad. Sounds on the autistic spectrum. Maybe he is? Do we have anyone in here today? I don't think so. I'm looking for Maru. No, isn't banana... Banana's a berry, isn't it? Alright, there's hardly anyone we're gifting today. Yeah, I think a banana is technically a berry. I'm not bringing you some seaweed, Caroline. Uh, I don't think there's anyone else in here today. Um, I gotta get to the beach before... 5 o'clock. But a strawberry is not. Strawberry, huh? What is a strawberry then? Is it strawberry a fruit? 
In the botanical sense, vegetable is not a classification at all. They're roots, leaves, stems, fruits, etc. Vegetable is only culinary. Oh, okay. We should I use the community center more after the hard work finishing it? Yeah, me too, but then I feel like it would be too disruptive to their normal schedules. I mean, some people do use it a lot. I, I feel like there's a community center day on Fridays, isn't it? True, Zena, yeah. Hey, Demetrius, would you go grab some fruit? But I still think if, if anyone told you to go get some fruit, I think very few people would go to, you know, the green grocer or whatever, look at the fruit section and go, ah, tomato. <laughs> oh, hi, Dazza. Look at all these books. I haven't read a single one. Just the thought of cracking one open makes me nervous. You can't make a decent living in this world without a brain. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, there's pl plenty of dum-dums that are billionaires. I love learning this kind of stuff. Strawberry isn't a fruit, it's a bunch of fruit. What? Hold on, what? Popular strawberry is not a berry at all, but botanists call the strawberry a false fruit. A pseudocarp? A, 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 a strawberry is actually multiple fruit which consists of tiny individual fruits embedded in a fleshy receptacle. What? I had a snarky comment there, but I held my tongue. Go on, Tish. Let it out. I'm worthless. That's crazy. You're a genius. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. Worthlessness? Yeah, that about sounds... Uh, we'll go for the middle one here. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I'm not going to give up. If I work hard, I can finish ABCs with Elmo. Hey, maybe one day soon we'll have dinner and discuss the alphabet. Isn't that what you smart people talk about? Yeah, why stop now? Yeah, look, chat's clearly on one today. You can join in, Tish. Oh, hello. It's an Alex cutscene day. Give and take, Ramen. Give and take. Oh, hey, I was just doing my daily strength training routine. Sorry, I have no shirt on. Now, you see, if I had no shirt on, then I'd be apologizing. Maybe I need to talk to you about something. I started to realize that, well, I've only really been rude towards you in the past, you know, about going pro and all that. Have you met our politicians and country leaders over here? I also know stupid people who are doctors and it shocks me. Yeah, I think you've told me a couple of stories about some stupid surgeons, maybe, I think. Maybe a doctor as well. I guess I might not actually be cut out for professional sports. It was just a childish dream, you know? Anyway, I want to apologize to you for bragging and being annoying about it. I appreciate that you stayed friends with me through all that. You see, Alex is cool as well, same as Haley. They both start off very shallow and vain, but... Alright, buddy. Can I look away now, or...? <laughs> Alright, what was I doing in here? Uh, I think I was saving this for Evelyn. That is absolutely marvelous. Alright, let's see if we can swing by... the Jody household. Oh, we can, we can get Gus as well. Sorry, Emily. Me first. Please. Thank you. Oh, Lewis is here. Who's his second choice to Haley? Penny. I think. I answered it quite quickly, so. New doctors who are flat earthers? That's just worrying. I don't know if they were trolling me or if they were serious. That must be a joke that they play on people. A horrible, horrible joke. I'm not going to get to the island in time, am I? Not a chance. Well, I would say I tried, but I didn't really. I don't have any ginger. Otherwise, I'd do it. 95% sure one of our doctors got his degree off the back of a cereal box. 
it's five o'clock. Well, I done goofed. Dazza was an anti-vaxxer. Make that make sense. Dazza? I think that, like, some jobs, like public sector jobs, should be prefaced with an IQ test or something. Same as, like, access to the internet. Chat, when I'm ruler of the world, um, in order to access the internet, you're going to need to take an IQ test. Okay. Sorry, not sorry. And actually start bribing the nurses to get fa bribing them. So we vocal about it when we're supposed to be pro medicine. That's ridiculous. Oh. Uh... Hey, I'm surprised to find you out here in the rain. Uh, I was trying to get to the island in time. Look at these dark clouds looming over the horizon. Hope they come this way. I like this weather because it makes everyone disappear, you know? Being around people makes me feel anxious. Oh, I'll step away then. I don't feel that way around you, though. Okay, I'll step back. Fireable offense? Good. <laughs> We're getting soaked. Ah, yes, the world's tiniest umbrella. There's room for two. Yeah, as long as I want a wet shoulder. Like put it in the in the middle of us, Sebastian. Ah, oh, you umbrella hog. Being able to use the internet, a reading comprehension test. Willie, no. Willie, please. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, we still need to find Marnie, Jody, uh, Maru. Leo is just a bust at this point, I think. Uh, and that one was for Kent again. Uh, do I need to gift Krobus a second time? Sandy as well. Don't I get a gift for Sandy? I do need to gift Krobus again. Let's go get him an egg. And cry all you want because it's already wet. Aww. of her religious beliefs. She refused to do procedures. Yeah, that's dumb. If it's a religious... Yeah, that's really dumb. Like, the... Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, People. Am I right, chat? People. Anyway, should we go back to some happier topics? Rather than dumb people. <laughs> I don't really want to be a buzzkill anymore. Oh, Kent's here. Lovely. What about Jody? Is she back there? No, Jody's gone missing. I haven't seen Maru either. So I'm guessing a couple of people went to the island? Bound. Tell us a joke. What do you call a dog that can do magic? A labracadabrador. Hey, look, I was right. Oh. Yeah. Maru? Yeah. Nailed him. So, good news. Tonight's my last shift for the week. <laughs> nice. When, uh,. Does that mean you're you're not back until Monday? Or do you work at the weekend? Yo, morning Misumo Chan. How how are you today? I'm doing okay. I'm just very tired. Because I'm a dum dum. Uh, I went to bed so late last night. Uh, I've only have myself to blame. I only have myself to blame. Not back till Monday night. And it's Wednesday night, so you've got time. We've got time off. How about that? That's pretty good. Got anything planned? Or a big fat load of nothing? It's 
20 questions chat. <laughs> Daz, you don't dine out much, do you? Nah, because I don't go places on my own. Like, when I was with Voldemort, we, we would go out to eat reasonably frequently. Um, but, you know, back then I had shared bills and someone to go out with. I'm one of these weird people that doesn't go on, like... I say weird people, but... I think that it's probably less common that you just don't go out for, like, a meal on your own or whatever. I don't, I don't take myself out. There's a, there's a lot of really big messages that, quite frankly... <laughs> I'll be honest, chat. When I see a big block of text, I'm just like, oh... Oh, it's gonna take me a year to read that. Get my apartment uh, around and meal prepping before I go back to work tomorrow. Well, uh, fingers crossed you, you settle down soon, you know, with the, the anxiety and whatnot. Muggle nurse. Sometimes it's, it's just like a matter of time before that sort of stuff just brings itself in. You feel somewhat normal again. I know for me, when I like start feeling anxious, I know that there's really no nothing really I can do about it. I just have to wait it out. Hello, Sushi Leisha. You haven't missed anything, don't worry. I think this is, yeah, this is only the second day we've played today. Uh, the first day we didn't really do much but gift. Today, pretty much the same. I should treat myself, you should treat yourself one of these days. Eh, I just don't like to. I feel awkward. I, I guess the last time I did it was when I went to see Thor in the uh, in the theater last year um, I went saw the movie and then went and got KFC afterwards <laughs> and that was me treating myself and it did feel awkward to just go in and just like you know grab a movie ticket for myself and then when I was sitting there like I was the first person to sit down like the the theater opened up and you know the room opened and I went in I sat down I was the only person in there for like five minutes and then other people started coming in and I was just this one person sitting on my own <laughs> I felt like a complete complete moron I guess I was like eh I guess I just care too much about what other people think about me which is really really stupid because I'm probably never going to see those people ever again yeah I know sometimes you need to treat yourself I just I think for me when I treat myself, it's just to other things, like, I don't know, chocolate, or <laughs> something, like a new a new gadget on Amazon or something. Sometimes I have to do things on my own. Well, I'm glad that you're, uh, you're a confident bloke, Raman. Oh, bedtime. Bum, 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 bum. I feel like I'm the uh, I'm an only child, uh, and I was. Ooh. Single for a while before I met my hubs. Uh, I'm gonna go out alone. It made me feel more alone sometimes. Yeah, I definitely deal with the whole loneliness thing. You know, I've got. I just got me myself and I pretty much. Which again, I'm not like, I'm, you know, I'm not looking for people to go, Oh, poor Dazza. I don't really care at this point. Um, I just miss doing stuff with other people. I take two things off my bucket list. Eating in a restaurant alone. Going to cinema alone. Sad things I have on a bucket list, I know, but for some reason I've always wanted to do it. Well, there you go. I'm going to an empty movie function. No one bothers me. I can't afford to, so I just stay at my home alone. Yeah, going out is expensive as well. Not chatting as much as I'm doing chores, but I'm listening in. No worries, Freddy. We're back to take my kid out of school. No worries, Misumo-chan. Treat myself equals a good meal, a good video to stream or, or stream. Cozy game and not leaving the house altogether, obviously. <laughs> Would you hang out with Dazza? There are worse things I can say yes to. I just can't think of any at the moment. <laughs> it's okay, Bot Bound. I know where I, where I belong. Yeah, you're right, Tiz. Uh, you are absolutely right. Um, Raining tomorrow on the island. It's just a comfort thing. Yeah, I'm just not comfortable doing it. 
Here is an idea. Start a wild or a tree orchard. Put tapas on those trees and harvest the valuable syrup. Or don't see if I care. <laughs> or don't see if I care. Oh, I want to say thanks for taking an interest in my work. Here's a cooking recipe that I like. Demetrius. Picked up this recipe from overseas. Enjoy. I want to say thanks for making me feel welcome. Kent. Well, your current quest, I have way too many of them. <sighs> yeah, I need to finish off this ginger. Because that's, that's actually the last craftable thing we need from the special orders board. Hello, Ollie Wolf. How you doing? First time I went to the cinema alone was to see the fault in our stars. Enjoyed it so much I kept doing it. Yeah, I mean, I think when, like, the new Ant-Man film comes out, I'll wait, like, a week or two, and then I'll go watch that on my own, probably. What about opening my bedroom window, ordering way too much food that I can eat, and re-watching comedy special on Netflix that I've already seen at least ten times? No one talking at me afterwards and making fun of me crying and getting worked up was so freeing. There you go. Customers cancel their appointments due to weather. Nice, Whitney. I guess... This is the way I always see it with, like, you know, being a business owner, being a self-employed or whatnot. It's, like, it's kind of nice to get an extra day off, but at the same time, that kind of, like, you know, that affects the wallet. So it's nice, but at the same time, I, w I worry about it. <laughs> Maybe you're the same. Maybe you're not. All right, we've got 69 open... T oh, yeah, that's from the bombs. Crops ready 13, that's the uh, the thing we jigs down here. Doodads, the what's my chords. I have to look at my eShop or manga wish list. Yeah, I think I think for me, treating myself is literally just like buying something. Maybe a game that I've been looking at for a while. Um, streaming gadgets. You know, I just recently upgraded my... Um, wait, what was in... What's there? I recently just upgraded my uh, my stream deck to, to for the the stream deck XL, which I'm very happy that I did. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. You got food now, though. You need a plan B. Oh no! Streaming? Uh, not if you have artisan. Tokyo-chan. Not if you have Artisan. See, I was under that impression as well, and it's it's better if you have Artisan to just turn it into truffle oil. Okay, let's actually get the last of the gifts done that we need to today. We have maxed out with Lewis now. That is fantastic. Same as Jody. That is also fantastic. Right, we need to see Jazz. So, can I make us some plum puddings now? Or have I run out of plums? Nope, run out of plums. I do need the auto slapper. The auto slapper would be nice. But at this point as well, I'm not really getting anything from the animals that I care about. Double? Single. When I was a teenager, I went frequently to the, the manatee. The manatee? It was half price since there's no people at, at the time. Uh, became friends with the cinema workers. They even offered me a job, but I was still underage. Good times. Can't repeat them. Yeah. I oh, don't know. I just wasn't a confident kid, and a lot of that I sort of carried into my adulthood until I, I got my job at Costa, and I kind of like felt accepted among my peers and it just gave me a big old confidence boost it really did um and yeah everything sort of was fine for a few years i felt really good about myself you know got myself a good looking girl uh i was quite happy for a few years but things just started to slide as they do and i just lost control of things um and i think the real the real breaking point for me was my old job, the office. When I moved jobs to start that office job... Oh boy, that, I think that's the biggest mistake of my life. But, say la vie, you know? Live and learn.
It's Martine. What? Oh, okay, Martine. See, I, I, that's just not a thing here. So I just, as I skim read a long message, I just read it as Manatee. <laughs> Treat myself is pay extra on my mortgage. I mean, that's that's fair. That's taking care of your future, though. Can't wait to get an auto slapper. Uh, right, so we need to gift Jazz. We're so close with Jazz. Sandy. Do I just give Jazz... I'm just going to give her some strawberries. Oh, no. uh, now let's just give her the golden pumpkin. Why not? We've got it. We might as well. Uh, Sandy. We can't gift Dwarf. We can gift Marnie. She can get a diamond. Kent and Leo. So Kent can get that, and Leo can get the Duck Feather. When is Leo's birthday again? It's like the very end, isn't it? Like the 26th? Yeah, 26th of summer. Okay. So not actually that many gifts to give. Um, let's head south and find Marnie and Jazz first. Yeah, a couple of them are Fudge Monkey. I, I realized <laughs> they got struck by lightning. There's not much I can do about it. I'm going to leave it there so it saves the um, the soil spot. And then I will... Um, I'll harvest them all at the same time and fix them. New kitchen knives? Nice! Uh, I do have a mango tree, yeah. Yeah, it's just not fully grown yet. Leave a big kid job... Leave a big kid job in hospital to now working at a local anim- uh, an oh, I, I read that as an anime shelter? <laughs> local animal shelter. Money loss sucked at first, but mental health gain was huge. Yeah, I left my job as a, a manager at a coffee shop, uh, sh coffee shop, um, because I wanted to focus on more of a career than a job. And I've always been good with numbers, and I wanted to work as an accountant at some point. So I got myself a job as an accounts assistant but not an assistant accountant, so I kind of messed up there. Uh, and it was just the the, the environment sucked, um, the commute sucked, the strain on my relationship because of it sucked, and then when that went to pot, then the, the job went to pot shortly afterwards. A shelter for cosplayers. How many shelters where all the project that Crunchyroll didn't pick up ends? <laughs> oh dear. Hi Shane, you look unusually happy today. You're right, I haven't felt this light since I was a kid. Still wearing that hoodie though, huh? Let me guess, Gus had a clearance sale on canned beer? No, actually I've been drinking sparkling water instead of beer and I feel great. Great! You know, I sometimes forget that I really do have friends, people that care about me. It's okay for me to rely on them, it doesn't make me weak. Bookworm pole leads. For shelter or anime series people don't like anymore. Hi Jazz, I got something for you. I quite like sparkling water, as long as it's flavoured. Like lemon and lime sparkling water, apple and elderberry sparkling water, peach flavoured sparkling water is pretty good. Just straight up sparkling water, meh. But as long as it's got a little bit of flavor to it, I'm for it. These are real bunny jewel slippers. But these are so expensive. How did you afford them? I don't know why the scene blacks out here. I got back on an expensive habit. I have a lot more spending money now. Beer is expensive. Oh! We did it, chat. With orange squash is yum. I used to make it with lemonade all the time. Like uh, some orange squash and some lemonade. As a kid. Uncle Shane's in the barn. He said uh, he said to tell you he wants to show you something. Wait, hold on. Uncle Shane? Does that mean Jazz is Marnie's granddaughter? Because I thought Marnie was both of their aunts. I thought 
Jazz and Shane were sis brother and sister. Shane is Jazz's parents' best friend. Oh, they're not related to Marnie at all? Is that drinking Liquid Death, which is literally just water with a cool name, and I feel healthier just because I'm actually drinking water? Why is it called Liquid Death, then? Her godfather! He said it right. Marnie is Shane's aunt. So what relationship is Marnie to Jazz? That should do it. I love this this uh, profile picture of Shane here. <laughs> it's a perfect home for you hens. Look at him. He's so happy. He's blinking. Murder your thirst? I have no idea how they came up with it, but I love it. It's just water. I'm confused. Tried sparkling water boobly before? It's Blair. Yeah, like I said, as long as it's flavoured for me, I, I actually prefer it to water. I think that's just because with water, I get bored that it's not, it doesn't have a flavour to it. No relationship really, but she is a honorary aunt slash grandma. So this is just random child living with Marnie. They have the best eggs in the whole valley. Fresh and healthy with rich golden yolks, not like those pale sickly Joja eggs. Polar. Shane gets a happy ending, yeah. You know Charlie? Char you called the Charlie chick. Look at it now. Hey, uh, what's up, Shane? You know what, Charlie? I was thinking. Oh, yeah? Yeah? What? What were you thinking, Shane? A guy like me is always teetering on the edge of despair, know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I totally get it, Shane. I know what you mean. I was in a bit of a predicament myself. But you and the other hens are going to keep me upright from now on. I know it. Oh, you know me, Shane. Good old Charlie's got your back. What's wrong? Too much pressure? Oh, no, don't worry about it, Shane. I'll keep you on the straight and narrow. Hey, Dazza. So what do you think? Liquid Death comes in tall cans, so it's less noticeable that you aren't drinking beer at parties. As the original marketing. Really? I, I'll see, when, when someone said liquid death, first thing I thought was, was coffee or an energy drink. My special blue hens. I've been raising them in secret for the last few months. And there's Charlie here. I'm just a uh, outcast in the, the hen community here at Shane's barn. I, well, I won't be living here forever. I wanted to pass something on to Jazz. I've been teaching her how to take care of them. To feel like I'm not just a leech on the world, but to contribute somehow, even a small way like this. Speaking of blue hands, Tiz, I got you your uh, your teal color vanity roll in the Discord for winning clip of the month. Uh, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Does look like a beer can to the point where people have gotten in trouble for having it work and stuff. Trying to do this challenge too, but I fell so far behind. Chef, honestly, I think we've we've been quite lucky to um to do as well as we have in the first first attempt here. I don't this was never meant to be just a, a one and done. I'm still honestly thinking at some point I'm gonna mess it up. Jazz lives with her aunt and Marnie uh, with her aunt Marnie. And Godfather Shane on her ranch outside the town. Jazz, both parents, died by unknown causes. Oh. That wasn't enough to max out Shane? Or Jazz, even? It's annoying. So we're going to go see Sandy. Kent. Okay, so Kent was the last person I had the uh, the rabbit's food for. I'm doing it. I'm starting a new vanilla Stardew playthrough. Let's go! People being able to mix things in it. Oh! Ugh. People are icky. And ruin things for other people. By the way, chat, none of you clipped the hilarious impression I did of Charlie the Chicken. 
which would have absolutely been a front runner for clip of the month for February. You, you guys suck. Uh, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. There was no clip of Charlie the Chicken. Are you kidding me? The wonderful improv. The hilarious voice. I'm disappointed, chat. Wow. Can't remember what I needed deluxe speed growth for, but I'm taking it. Oh, for the ancient fruit. Made me uncomfortable, I had to stop listening. It was no hat mouse, but it was a Yogi the Bear impression. I am disappointed. I am. Uh, right, let's get this quickly fertilized, then we'll go see Kent, and then we'll go to the, uh, to the island, finally, um, because I realized <laughs> this is, uh, mainly to Honeywell, uh, I may have forgotten to go to the island all week, and I never went to get the key quest for the week. Because I'm a big dum-dum, of course. Actually, ooh, there's one other thing I want to do. There's one other thing I want to do. Oh, where is it? I'm doing it, chat. I'm doing it. Oh, that's right, I'm not taking this prismatic shard to the island with me. I'm going back, back, back to the desert. Oh, yes. Oh, that's right. Oh, Dazzers. Gonna go buy some magic rock candy. Because we... We're, I'm probably gonna try taking some jades with me on Sunday to Skull Cavern. I think that's my plan for the week. Now I pet him once for each hump. Magic Rock Candy Day. Three prismatic shards for one delicious piece of candy. Now we go to the island. Both humps on hump day. Yeah. I don't know, I'm feeling a bit goofy. I think it's because I'm sleepy. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel I don't know how I, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel just like we should do this. Um, I'll accept it and we'll go tomorrow. It'll be fine. It's kind of annoying because I could have gone again. But yeah, it's, I think it's just because I'm, uh, I'm tired. I'm just feeling a little bit loosey goosey. Also, I've just seen something. I have to check something real quick. Uh, bump. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, it's not an email that I want. All right. Oh, Kent. Uh, how's it going? We got Sam here playing his guitar. The fossilized ribs again. All right, let's get the wiggly worms. And let's get... Oh, let's make sure the weeds haven't grown here yet. I get giggly after long nights. Giggly. I don't think I've been in a giggly mood for a while. I don't think I've been in a giggly mood for years. Alright, we have some ginger to harvest. 
Oh, wiggly worms! Come on, snake vertebrae! Okay. Oh, it's too it's too late to do keys crop. Five hundred key fruit in eleven days. Gartic phone will put you in a giggly mood. Doubt it. My humor is not the same as a lot of other people's humor. I think we have to do Skull Cabin Invasion. Floor 100. I do need to do a Skull Cabin run again. We are at 49% completion, which is pretty good. Have a good luck, Mikes. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for looking. Oh. Oh. Nailed it. First try. So is it... Have I... Oh, that's an axe. Oh, whoops. So like, why wasn't it not letting me charge up the axe? Or the, the hoe? It was because it wasn't a hoe, it was an axe. I think I've harvested enough now, haven't I? No, I just need to ship one. And then the rest I can keep for, like, cooking and whatnot. So that's good. Just have to harvest more of them. Pineapples already! Splendid. Any more ginger? A little bit. I'll quickly swing by the top here. No golden coconut. We're still missing the uh, the fossilized skull, I think, aren't we? Hey, Rachel Kitten, how you doing? Welcome. Hope you're well. Beep, beep. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. And no ginger here, sadly. Artifact Trove is free, I'll take it. Uh, no ginger here either. Boo. Okay. It's a bit of a bust from the island today, but that's fine, I suppose. Uh, still at work, though. I need some chill vibes in the background. Hey, I will try and provide. Need that recipe for the deluxe retaining soil. Challenge going all in schedule? Uh, I think so. The only thing that would make it better if I found the second snake's vertebrae. Uh, ship one of those. Ship a pineapple. Ship the ribs. Five walnuts. Might as well get a mailbox here. I'm just hoping that we can get the totem. I think the totem takes like 20. I think we have to go in the house to reset them here. Second stake vertebrae took forever. Oh, it does take 20, we need three more. Yeah, for me, I got my first one kind of super early. Like, a lot quicker than I thought I would. Um, so yeah, the second one... It's being a bit of a yikes. Did you do the fishing? I didn't actually, no. Uh, where we had to do the, like, fish the five different fish up here. I didn't bother doing it. Totem does take 20. Yeah, we're three shy, shy. Fishing nuts? I'm pretty sure I've got the nuts. I think the only fishing stuff that I'm... Or the only walnuts that I'm missing are in the, the volcanoes. But I'm going to need, like, a, a decent day to go and run it. Honestly, I haven't been keeping track of which ones I have and haven't got. We're, we're still missing, like, 17... One hidden in five mountain treasures, yeah. Doesn't really help me, does it? I think that's a rare chest. So we got one from a regular chest. Um, help man intent is another one that we keep getting. Squawkers, help man intent. No, 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 no. Let me through first. Thank you, bye. Do you know which ones you're missing? The golden walnuts? No. No, I haven't got a clue which ones are missing. Okay. So we got our... our missions. Skull Cavern Invasion. 
Um, I have to remember to take a cave carrot to Sandy. That's going to give us a few extra friendship points. Other than that, I think we're done with gifting for the week. Yeah, that's good to know. So we've got two days of freedom. <laughs> where I can hope hopefully um, maybe do a Skull Cavern run if we get super good luck. And if we don't, I might just go and mine some iron. But I think I'd rather just mine some iron from the Skull Cavern. Pirate's Cove, yeah, I got everything from the Pirate's Cove. Let's do a, a spot of cooking. We can make the tropical curry. We can make the ginger ale. Splendid. Don't think we need uh, ginger for anything else, but we can keep it. Uh, let's take the bloobs out and put the tropical curry in. Put the bloobs there instead. Uh, do coconuts go in there? Yes, they do. Really? I'm just waiting for, like, another harvest of starfruit? So that I can go and, uh... Switch over to artisan and then sell a lot of starfruit wine. Did I put a treasure trove in the fridge? I wouldn't be that daft, would I? Uh, I put a tropical curry in there. Unless I am that daft. No, I'm that, I am that daft. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just sat through an hour long meeting and did not understand a single word this man said to us. That was literally me at my old job. Because all of the meetings that I got pulled into were always to do with, like, the admin staff. But the admin staff would be... They were, they were like, the administrators of financial advisors. So they would be pulled into meetings for, like, you know, software updates and whatnot. And, and I was just like, this literally means nothing to me because I don't use this software. Why am I even here? <laughs> oh, dear. We need coal. That's what we need. The artifact troves. I don't think they can have nuts in them, though. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. It's happened. I know. I know. Um, as silly as it seems, I have been wrong in the past. Have we maxed out Vincent? No. All right. Let's go see if we can quickly find some uh, some grapes for him. Transferring to a new agency. Oh, grapes. Just one grapes. <laughs> Just one grapes. Agency-wide software and the main presenting... And the man presenting didn't realize that it literally still is in test mode. Right, let's get rid of these. Did I make the... I think I did make the summer seeds, didn't I? Yeah, number crafted 10. Get the worms, still need artifacts. Okay. What, uh, is there any artifacts in the backwoods that I actually need? Well, at least we can make some fiber seeds. Skeletal hand. Can I get that from killing skeletons in the regular mines? Just looking for, like, potential artifact spots down here. You know I remember that one? Have you been burned by it before? <laughs> Skull monster. Oh, you know what? Maybe we should quickly do that. Should we quickly run through the, um, quarry mines? And see if we can't get the, uh, the golden scythe real quick. Do I have a... Oh, we don't need a totem to come back. Quarry mines are easy.
he says about to die to them. Yeah, we should be able to bust through that quite quickly. We've had the quarry for about a year now, and I've just not bothered with it. If I can even get to it. You're being burned by that one. Ah, oh. Well, fingers crossed. Well, you find it soon. Excuse me, coming through. Yeah. Let's just run through. We'll find the, the skull monsters eventually. They can hurt. Come get me, Mr. Skull Man. Skeletal hand. I just got a magic rock candy? Okay then. I just spent three prismatic shards on that. And I got the skeletal hand. <laughs> Lucky run? I don't know what we mean, Triven. It's all been calculated and planned. This has been the, uh... The peak of my Stardew research for the last 18 months. That's right, I've done nothing. But research this game so I can play it perfectly. Frame by frame. For the entertainment of chat. Definitely haven't just, uh... What's it called? Uh, just flogged the entire run, you know. Now you are death. Magic Rock Candy is super rare, even with the Burglar's Ring. You know, it's just a simple seed manipulation and, and step counting and... You know, it's very complicated stuff that I don't expect the, uh, the average Stardew player to understand, but... A frame-perfect swing with step counting and... You know, I did, I did, I, I, I counted the steps and I knew the pattern of skulls, I knew the precise location it had to be in for me to swing my sword and, uh, and make sure that I knew I was going to get the magic rock candy from that precise drop right there. Pro gamer, I, you know, I, I'm sorry, I just can't be helped. It's just, just, just built different, born different, just burdened with just overflowing skill and talent when it comes to Stardew Valley and video games in general. I watched that YouTube video last night. Wait, there was a YouTube video last night? How did you get a skeletal hand from a skull, Triven? You don't want to know. Um, which YouTube video, Rachie? I'm confused. What a burden to have, like Atlas. Exactly, 